like I started going to AA by accident, all right? I, everything happened by accident, but there was a big party in our neighborhood. I was in Pacoima, and that was the murder capital of Los Angeles in yeah. 19, when I was 1959. Pacoima's I right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pacoima. And, and I mean, we were killing everybody. And there's all these cars parked out in front of this house and hold it. This is our neighborhood. They're having a party in the murder capital of Los Angeles. They're not inviting the murderers. What the hell is going on? <laughs> so we stopped, went to the tool, went to the trunk of the car to get the tools necessary, you know, to crash parties. And so we got entire iron bumper jacks, uh, I had a 38 snub nose, a case of beer, three bottles of wine, half pint of whiskey. I was already loaded on Red Devil's pills. And, and so... We crashed. We, you can't knock. He's kind of going to bust. Yeah. And the first thing we saw was a big sign that said, we care. And we're trying to care about what? And all these people, they they were coming up with coffee cups. You know, like, hey, you want some And I always told my troops, don't split up. Stay together. There's you know, 20 of us. You know, we got them. And, and, uh, but what the people did was like, that dividing con you had everybody in little groups of four, yeah, telling them about the perils of drinking, you know, everybody's drunk. And this guy comes up to me and starts talking about he was an alcoholic and now he don't drink and you know, why don't I put that stuff outside and join him? I said, Hell no, I got penitentiaries to go to fool. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't I didn't know what to say, but I I left and we all left and I mean this guy whispered a curse to me. He said, well, "Maybe I don't want to hear it." No, I'm <laughs> telling you. He said, "Danny, if you leave this meeting, you will die, go insane, or go to jail." And I thought, "Screw you! It's a, a stupid thing to say to a 15 year old kid." We left. Two weeks later. Come on, out. we have the house around it. I was busted, arrested again, and gone, juvenile hall. And so it was like a pattern. Yeah. You know, I, I always, I ne I've never gotten arrested sober. I've never gotten, I mean, I've, yeah, I've never gotten arrested that I wasn't loaded on heroin. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it was like, is that my problem? Using was my problem problem i'm the problem drinking and using is my medicine part of the thing yeah y you know what i mean no I, I, to I know exactly what you mean and and uh damn I, I had to go to meetings in every every institution i the damn frank russo frank russo frank russo and i say that because he told me never to mention his name <laughs> But he actually, I, I, I show up at this penitentiary, he's there, he shot a couple of people in front of uh, Sun Valley Receiving Hospital. And and, uh, and they, he was there and he came, Danny, we gotta go to this AA meeting. It's awesome, blah, blah, blah. I got an AA meeting. He said, no, 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 hey, hey, they got, they got cigarettes. And I said, Pfft. I'm a journeyman convict. I got cartons of cigarettes. Yeah. He said, yeah, but I know that, you know, hey, we can get coffee and cake. I said, come on, I got that in my cell. What the hell's wrong with you? And then he says, there's women coming up. <laughs> they brought <laughs> women to AA meetings in yeah, prison? They don't have fucking, women's in my cell. No. You know, so, it's a fucking so no-brainer. I, I signed up for the meeting, but the problem is when you sign up for something, you can't say, I want to go to AA to see the women. You got to say, I want to go to AA to deal with my alcohol problem. Now, once you say that, that goes in your jacket. That means everywhere you go, oh, you have alcohol problems. So they're mandatory. Every institution I went to, I had to go to alcohol as long as end up. And so I go to this meeting, and it's actually a pretty good meeting. <laughs> and that's where I met Johnny Harris, my my sponsor, right? And uh, he told me the, he said, the only thing that's going to beat you to Quentin are the headlights on the bus. 
So, yeah, and I said, yeah, I thought it was a compliment, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was funny because when we pulled up to San Quentin, right, 10 years later, I I see the headlights hit the wall, and I said, hey, let me walk in front. <laughs> I think everybody on that bus had heard Johnny Harris because everybody knew what I was talking about. And and that was it. And I went to AA all the time because I had to. Yeah. That's interesting. Did, when you went to AA meetings, did they do like uh, – I, I really – when I say I know nothing about prison, I just know what I saw mm-hmm. in like Blood In, Blood Out. Mm-hmm. So like – but did they have like an Aryan AA meeting and no. a black AA no. meeting? No. The, those Those are all – the same, you know. It's, it's, it's a, the, everything else is segregated. Solidad is the worst because when you're going, walking into Solidad, it, it, the the guards are trying to keep things equal. Yeah, they're trying to put white, black, Mexican, all you know, spread out. Yeah, and if they send you to like the African Americans, and you're a white guy. You better make a quick turn somewhere. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? If you're a Mex, same thing. It's like we segregate our, ourselves, you know. And uh, Oh, really? And they usually don't want to make a big hassle out of it. You know, they just leave it alone. And uh, that's what the tables all have four. You know? Oh, really? And four people. And so it's uh, prison is probably the most right now place in the world. The most right now place. Right now. It's all happening right now. If not you want to be present, today, go right to prison. Now. That's where the term, I got your back, came from. Really? When we're talking to each other, I got your back. You got my back. And people don't even know that. They use that all the time. Hey, I got your back. That means, that means like, I'll watch out. I'll watch out for you. But that's for real. I got your back. So if something's happening... I'll hey, hey, check this, check, you know what I mean? I'll I'll let you know, whatever it's because I don't know what you know, and uh and that's what I always call the right now, right now place, you know. Right now you can die or right now you can almost die or right now you can get away with it. It seems like I would I would feel like I would act a day late on any threats. <laughs> like they'd be like uh they'd be like uh oh I like your hat. I guess you can't wear hats in prison. But like yeah. uh, can you? Taylor hats. Yeah. They go, I like your hat. And I go, oh, thanks. And, but then I, that would mean my hat's getting taken from me. Yeah. And I, I would, then I would be like, later, I, I have a very big <laughs> head, size eight. You probably maybe you want to talk to someone else. Yeah. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. 